that the human body and mind, for example, are hyper-complex machines made out of tiny mechanical systems in the same way that a calculator or computer or combustion engine is a complex artifact. Yet, if we come to understand that the world consists primarily of living rather than inert processes, then these artifacts come to appear very differently. A hammer, for example, might not seem very alive per se. The hammer does not appear to be driven by any sort of agency beyond that which is imparted to it by the human being who uses it. The hammer does not regenerate itself when it breaks, nor do hammers naturally produce or reproduce themselves outside of human artifice. Nonetheless, at a smaller scale, we can see that the hammer is composed of a myriad of microscopic organisms. Self-organizing, self-perpetuating, and symbiotic systems which are constantly renewing their own form. The hammer itself may not be an organic system, strictly speaking, but the hammer is nevertheless a complex aggregation of living systems which have been combined together in an artificial manner for human technological purposes. In other words, it is artifacts which are the exception, not the rule, and artificial systems necessarily are composed of organic systems. Artifacts such as hammers, calculators, and laptops are only possible precisely because they essentially float on top of an organismic substrate. There is much, much more to be said about the ontological makeup of organic processes than we will be elaborating in this video, but for now, what is most significant is the distinction we must make between potentialities and actualities.